Today's horror manga dub and narration is Red Book from the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Matano Anji. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to the Queen of Panic for collaborating with this video. Check her out in the description below as well as pinned in the top comment. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling tale. Our story begins with a girl who has a book in her hand. It reads University Entrance Exam Study Guide, a book of the past questions compiled. She speaks. I bought it used because it was cheap, but this thing is nearly falling apart. She ever so slowly flips the page and what she sees is... A sticky note. First. What a diligent person. I guess they wanted to mark what to review. Later that night, she continues to flip through that book and study. That's when she happens upon another page. This question hits me every time. <laughs> She's like me. While going through the review book, I started to feel connection to the previous owner. It was like we were having a study session together. She flips again. My grades are going up. She looks down with a melancholic glare forming on her countenance. <sighs> Mine either. It's alright, we just have to keep on trying. She flips again. No, that's wrong. And again. Sweat drips down her brow and her face becomes pale as the notes hit a little too close to home. I got impatient with myself as well and had my nose buried in the review book day and night. As she begins to write, her hand shakes uncontrollably and she snaps her lead. Why then? The more I read through this, the more impatient I become. She places her hand on her now damp eyes as tears drip down, staining a sticky note that reads. <laughs> it's no time to be crying. That's right. I'm not the only one who's suffering. You're here too, so I'll... Turning to the next page reveals yet again another sticky note, this time saying, No one understands me. Huh? She looks over, imagining that poor, tormented soul who would write those endless amount of sticky notes. Oh, yeah, I know about her, but... There's no way she could know about me. This this poor girl has been alone through all this. This isn't something that's happening in real time. It's from a while back. This studious girl, how did things turn out for her? She must have written about it somewhere. But what she finds shocks her to her very core as it reads. That's when she notices a silhouette heading out toward the balcony. She calls to it. Wait! No! Don't! Don't do it! But in that instance, it jumps off the balcony, and she cannot believe her very eyes as it splatters against the asphalt. <laughs> I can't let her be alone! She lifts her leg onto the balcony as the skyscrapers tower beside her. What am I doing? 
I need to get down from that! Her crimson red blood stains the ground, then spreading to the study guide, reading a book, a red book. The wind causes the pages to flutter, revealing one final page with one final sticky note that reads, Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah DeJesus, Motosurf, Cleo, Dason Animus, Ali Wei, Pteranodon Girl One, and Minue. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night everyone, goodbye.